What is good friends, we're here with Karen Smith vs Sabella, OT losers bracket finals, so our wins, this is in grand finals, let's look at the teams real quick. So we do see probably Mbenga Ladi squad, it could be Common Ladi and Defog on Katana, and I'm thinking it's Scarf Lando and Z-Move on Katana, could also be Z-Move and Bulo obviously, but AV Bulo would also make sense since the team is kinda weak to Coco, so I'm thinking Scarf Lando since there's a Bulo to check stuff like Zygarde, you can afford to run offensive uh, Lando if you're Karen. Probably Toxic Spikes, Pex, which would support a potential Command Lady pretty well, and then Toxic, Magma Storm, Elf Power, and Rocks on Tran. I know Rocks are sometimes run on Scarf Lando, but on this team, I think they are on the Tran. On the other side, we do see most likely a Scarf Lady, uh, Mega Pinsir, most likely either Z Move on Coco or on Caldeo. The other one of the two could be Specs, Defensive Lando, and then most likely a Spadev Ferrothorn. So we do see that Karen's Lando is faster, so it's most likely, like I, just like I thought, Sabella's Lando is defensive and Karen's is offensive, most likely Scarf. So I think Sabella went for either HP Ice or Rocks here. So if I'm Karen here, I would just go to Tapu Bulu because I don't think that the Lando is Z Move on Sabella's side. It should be either on Caldeo or on Coco the Z. That didn't work out that well for Karen because the Katana just took about half on the HP Ice. Sabala can now go into Ladi if he doesn't want to let his Lando take damage because it covers the SD and it covers the Leaf Blade. Uh, I think Karen went into Kartana predicting rocks from the Lando and then maybe wanted to defog them away or also just to threaten the Lando predicting rocks and then potentially SD or yeah like threaten it. Bloom is not that Bloom Doom is not that common on Kartana but it's definitely an option. But if Karen doesn't want to risk Lando staying in an HP icing again, Karen can also just go into Tapu Bulu here because uh, Tapu Bulu also kind of covers the Ladi. It uh, goes in the Bulu and I think Sabella did, okay, did just go in the Ladi. So the thing is, Ladi and Bulu, they cannot really touch each other that well, but Bulu still beats it one-on-one -on -one because Sashok doesn't do that much. And especially if the Bulu has SD, it uh, definitely beats Ladi one-on-one. -on -one. So I think Sabella is going to be forced to switch into either Lando or Ferrothorn. Um, Hard Pins is not the play because sometimes Bulu carries Stone Edge. Sabella also still doesn't know the set and even um, Woodhammer or Bloom Doom or whatever this Bulu is. I'm not thinking it's Z-Move, but it could be. So like Pins is not mega yet, it would take a lot from even grass step and grassy terrain. Like I said, if Bulu is banded, that would blow away the pincer. It does go into Landris predicting um superpower maybe. As Karen doubled into Heatran. Predicting the Ferrothon maybe. Oh okay, just in case the, that covered Heatran covered the Ferrothon and it covered the Laddie staying in and side shocking. So Karen should switch here on top of Bulu just in case I have Earthquakes. I know Heatran can live an Earthquake in grassy terrain, but it's nice to keep the Heatran healthy um, for the Ferrosaurus, for the opposing Lari, and just to toxic some stuff or fire off some Magma Storm. So Heatran is always great to have, especially with grassy terrain, it's like amazing. Um, you can like keep it healthy. So that's just going to Bulu breaking Earthquake. That covered Earthquake and Rocks, so that was completely fine play. Um, so Sabella can either go Hard Ferrothorn or U-turn out here with the Landris. And we will then see if this is a Bandit or a SD Bulu. I mean, it could still be AV. We have not, we don't know that yet. I'm thinking more so that it's probably Bandit or SD though. So Ferrothorn is going to come out here. Do we see Superpower or do we see Woodhammer? We do see Woodhammer and that is 26. So that is a lot. I think that's 4 times resisted and it still does 26. So I'm thinking that it's most likely a Bandit type Bulu. And Karen is going to be forced to switch into either Heatran, Kartana or Pex here. Sabala just gets up a spike. So... Is either going to be a Toxic Spike going up or a Scald coming out trying to burn incoming? Uh, either Ladi or Coco is going to come out here from Sabella. Let's go into Coco, probably predicting the Toxic Spikes, gets the play correct. And now this is kind of just a 50-50 if the Coco is Specs. Karen doesn't have a good switch in because the monster that can take T-Bolt, Ladi and Lando both get destroyed by HPIs or Dazzling Gleam. Mainly Dazzling Gleam would destroy them. And the other four ones all get destroyed by T-Bolt. The Bulu is already low, and if it doesn't die to T-Bolt, it gets brought super low. So Karen kind of just has to predict correctly. The thing is, Pex is uh, really nice in this game. So I don't know if I would risk Pex. Pex is amazing for um, burning the incoming um, Ladi, for um, checking Caldeo, for burning Ferrothorn. But Karen risks the um, the Pex. Maybe knowing that Sabala knows that Karen needs the, the Pex. Maybe thinking that um, Sabala would never T-Bolt there, um, but it was a risky play, it worked out really well. So Karen can just um, go to Heatran here or Scald again. Heatran covers Coco staying in the Dazzling Gleaming, Heatran also covers the Ladi, and Heatran also covers the Ferrothorn. So pretty much covers all options, because um, you never, like that's, those were the, mon the plays that Sabala was going to make, either go Ferro or go Ladi, and even if he stays in, Heatran also covered that. So it was pretty much the perfect play for Karen. Uh, Karen can just go for Rocks here, I would say. So we use Isabella going to Kaldio and 
Cameron for Toxic. I feel like Rocks would have been fine, but it works. So now Sabala can maybe double out pretty in the incoming um, packs. Maybe double here into Landris if you Sabala to um to catch the Toxic packs. The thing is Karen could also go to Lari. And Lando would not co cover the Lari. But since the Lari might be common and it's the Wincon, I don't think um, Karen wants that to get burned. So it goes just into packs. Sabella plays it safe. I'm a bit surprised by that, that he didn't double into either Land or Coco or something like that. I mean, yeah, the, the reason why he didn't double to Coco is because I don't think his Coco is poisoned yet and he wants to have the T spikes off before he goes into Coco. So he goes to Lari. Let's see if Karen can get the burn. Karen does get the burn. So now Lari is either going to Defog or um, Psy Shock. Karen can either just um, stay in or go into Heatran. Stays in, Scalds, knows the Lari is most likely locked into Defog, so Karen might just be spamming Scald here. <laughs> Sabala's gonna switch, I think, into Ferrothorn. So I guess a double into Heatran as a potential play, but just gets up a T-Spike again. Yeah, that works, obviously that works. So now the Ferrothorn is just gonna get them Spikes up and maybe knock off the packs. Uh, Karen can now go into Heatran or um, Scald again. Goes into Heatran. And... Heatran can get up the rocks here or weaken the Kalio a bit with a, a little fire move as Kalio comes out. But the Kalio is already getting weakened by a uh, chip by the poison. And Karen can now just go back into packs. I think Sabala is forced to double out here, otherwise, he doesn't make any progress as Kalio just gets chipped if he stays in. But yeah, the packs is gonna be a pain for Sabala as he doubles into Lando trying to catch the packs. Let's see if that works out for him. Uh, goes and as Karen went into Lari there, makes a different play this time. Works out really nicely for Karen. Uh, goes into packs now because that covers the um, the incoming Ferrothorn that was most likely coming out and just spamming Scald, most likely trying to burn Ferrothorn. So that tells us um, Lari can most likely not touch Ferrothorn, which is why Karen doubled out into packs. And packs is just gonna spam Scald and eventually get the burn if the Ferrothorn stays in. Ferrothorn gets for Leech Seed. Uh, so Bella can go into Lari, but yeah, if he's like if he stays in, his Ferrothorn is getting burned for sure, it's just a matter of time. But it, um, so until until this point he could avoid the burn at least so that's kind of nice for him but I think Karen is just setting the win up for Karma and Lari um, with the toxic spike that is already up uh, if it's we don't know the set yet obviously it could be Karma and T-Bolt start power and recover it could also be a reflect type which would be amazing to avoid leech seeds from Ferrothorn but we will see that later Sabala leech seeds and case Karen switches and Kalio is most likely gonna come out again. Wait, why, why did Karen double into Landris? Not 100% sure about that. I guess it's Scarf Lando, but we don't know yet if the Kalio is Scarf. Um, since the, I think the pump that Kalio went for earlier missed, so we don't know from the damage if it's Specs or Scarf. It's most likely Scarf Lari and not Scarf Kalio, but it could still be. So nice double into Lando predicting the Pex, but Pex is just gonna switch into Mega Lari. And Lari can now Mega Evolve, and if it's Calm Mind, um, it might just win from here. Uh, so Sabella probably went for U-turn, and is now forced into Ferrothorn. He, okay, he could go into Coco, but Coco cannot kill the Lari. Even Dazzling Gleam does around half, I think, at plus one, and Coco is toxic. So as long as it does not crit the Lari, uh, Lari beats Coco one on one. Um, maybe Draco from Lari is a potential play, I guess. But if Sabella goes Lari and Draco's here. Um, Karen can either just go into Pex or Tran, and nah, I wouldn't help Sabala much. I don't think Lari's the play. I think it's the thing is if you go Ferrothorn and this is the rare flag type side, you're also in a really bad position. But this is this is just tough for Sabella. Um, the correct Lari set might just win this game. He goes into Coco, okay. So he's most likely uh, gonna go for Dazzling Gleam, and I don't think it killed. Uh, like I said, it's gonna do around half. So Karen can just go for Recover here. To see what Sabala goes for, and even if he goes for Dazzling Gleam, it should not do more than half. For if he goes for Electric Move for some reason, um, Lari is obviously gonna destroy Sabala. So I think he's forced to go for Dazzling Gleam. The only thing that Karen risks by staying in is a potential crit. But yeah, just recovering here is the play for Karen, I think. Or if you don't want to risk it, you just switch hard into like Pax or Tran. But I think just recovering is fine. Uh, Sabala is forced to Dazzling Gleam. We're then gonna see how much it does, and if it does less than half, Karen might just want to stay in here. So we do see that it only does 48%. Now, that might have been like a low roll, but it's not in Sabala's interest to stay in here. I think Sabala's gonna um, 
I have to switch into Pharaoh Thorn. So let's go into Pharaoh Thorn and he has to leech seed, that's like the only thing he can do. I forgot that he's burned, wow. I mean even if he wasn't burned, knockoff, if he had knockoff that wouldn't do that much anyway. So it is reflect up, which means it cannot get leech seeded. So now Karen can just call mine again and it's kinda looking like game over. Uh, so Bala's gonna have to switch here. And now the Ladi cannot even touch the other Ladi anymore. Like Sabala's Ladi cannot touch this anymore because Scarf Ladi usually runs like default healing with Draco Side Shock, which means it gets completely walled by this. I don't think they run HP fire. So how does he even weaken this now? He goes into his Ladi, but Okay, Karen just stalled powered. I'm surprised that Karen didn't call mine again. I mean Karen can just call mine again here. Like what is Sabala's Ladi gonna do? There's no way it's HP fire. I mean, this Ladi is at least not Psychic anymore, which means Stalled Power is not Stab. So Pinsa is definitely going to be able to come in um, after Sabella, like, Sex something. And it's going to be able to do a lot to the Ladi, like 65 maybe would return. But it's not going to be enough. He just defogs, as I think Karen just commented again. Yeah. But Sabella kind of has to switch to something, because if he stays in the Ladi, he just keeps calm minding. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what you do if you're Sabala. I mean, Karen could just start power um, in case Sabala risks the pin set. I would destroy that. So Sabala goes land, or this is going to get 2 hit KO'd if start power comes out. So there's a lot. The only reason why it didn't kill is because um, it's not stabbed. So Sabala says the AGG, he does not have anything for this. Karen can just uh, start power again. He pick off the land. Now he has to go to pin set, I think. That's the only thing that can do damage to the Ladi because it's a physical attacker. If he had HP fire on Coco, that would have been another option, but he's most likely HP ice on Coco. So Pinsa's return is gonna do... Um, I think Pinsa can live a stored power because it's not stab. So the stored power is gonna hurt, but it's not gonna kill. Return is gonna do like 60-ish, maybe. 54, okay, they did nothing, what the fuck. So Pinsa can... Um, quick attack or stop. I probably would have returned just in case. Because if you're Sabala, you kinda have to hope for Karen misplaying at that point. I mean, to be fair, there was not much to lose, yeah. Just attacking was always the play for Karen. And even if Karen recovered, uh, even if he frustrated again, it would not have done or returned again. I would not have done that much. Any T bolts. Um, obviously, he did not have anything to hit the the Ladi since it's grass and steel. Yeah, Dazzling Gleam would not have been uh, would have been resisted as well. And yeah, he didn't have anything for this, and he probably much just loses at this point. So he's going for Paras slash crits. And what is he gonna go to now, Ladi? No, no, he's gonna go Keldeo now, because Keldeo can hit the super effective with Secret Sword, as he does get the para, okay? So Secret Sword can hit this for super effective damage, because it's Grass Steel, but he doesn't even go for that. He goes for Ladi and Healing Wishes, his Keldeo maybe? Oh, his Pharaoh? No, his Keldeo. It doesn't matter, the game is over. Oh, his Calm Minds, okay. So Karen was just willing to sack this, just so the Keldeo doesn't set up for free, I guess. So it was... Most likely Zemo of Keldeo, um... And even if the Kelly went for Secret Sword, um, and it killed the Ladi, afterwards, um, the pack's pretty much won at this point, and what else? I mean, Sabala had to hope for some Paras, I guess, but that game was looking really over because, yeah. Like, Karen did have Mons in the back to deal with his Mons. Thank you guys for watching, I'll be back with game 2 in a bit, and stay tuned for that. Karen is up 1-0, and let's see who takes game 2.